Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of my cartoon tutorial. So in this particular video I'm going to show you how to draw the veil and then other stuff in this particular image. So the image that I'm using here is the second lady of the Republic of Ghana, Her Excellency um, Baumia, Samira Baumia. Yeah. So without further ado, let's have fun. Alright, so as you can see, I've already taken the background off. If you watch the previous tutorial, I'm sure this won't be a new thing to you. So the background is off, and then we set a new color field to guide us. You know, you can change the color anytime you wish to. So let's start off by just drawing the veil over here. You see that that is the most appeared part. It appears most in the image. So let's get rid of that first. So you choose the pen tool and then we're going to make use of the shape over here instead of the path. So we are going to draw the veil over. So just like we discussed the other time, you can zoom in if you want to get a clearer view. And then you start to draw. So I'll fast forward this area and then I'll catch you and I'm done. Okay, so you can see that I'm done with the veil over here, so I'll just get rid of it. I'll just close it like this, and then we go ahead and draw another veil over here. I think it's the one that is covering the down one, so I'll pick the pen tool again, and then I'll go ahead and draw. So you just have to draw according to the edges of the picture, right? We are converting the image to a cartoon, so this is not a painting that you have to paint everything you just follow you just follow the trend like how it goes and then you use your pen tool to draw according to it so when I reach this side for instance I'll just go over here and then okay so when you are done like this too you go ahead and change it so let me give this color something blue okay blue over here so when you turn the veil on like this you're going to have that we are developing something okay so the next thing will be the face so okay so let me turn on and then i'm going to draw the face so i also choose the pen tool and go around first of all let me set the color the foreground color to be something like this Okay, let me choose this color. All right. So I'll go ahead and then start to draw. Okay, so afterwards, let me turn up on the opacity like this. And then you should have something similar if you are following very carefully. So let's get to see what we've done so far. So let's turn this on and then let's turn this veil also on. So you can see that we are doing something great here, though we have some light problems here, but we will fix all that. Don't worry. So let's continue with the map. Let's draw the map over here. So pick your paint tool again and then zoom in very carefully and then you start to draw. So I'll start to draw from here. Okay, so let's change um, the color over here. So let's pick something like this. Oh, all right. And then we can turn on the opacity to see what we've done. Okay, so let's turn it on. And then we will draw another one again. So we start from here. We just follow how it goes. And then you make all the various sketches. Okay, so when you are done like this, you come beneath this particular 
shape right and then you create a new layer over there and then you choose your brush tool where is my brush tool so the brush tool and then you select the color over here right so you can paint over the teeth let me increase the hardness and then you can just paint over like this so when you get to this part you can decrease the brush by right clicking and then you decrease the brush like that okay so you decrease it and then you can choose the color over here too and then you paint just like that so you see how I'm going about it that's how it works so you just take your time to make the paintings because this is a tutorial it might not look real it might not look very nice just follow the steps and take your time to do something very creative so that's how it goes okay so afterwards you turn it off again and then on top of this layer we are going to use the shape tool that is the pen tool and then we are going to draw the teeth so you follow the train how it goes like this and then you draw so you can change the color to white and then allow me to fast forward this area okay Okay, so when you turn it to this side like that, you can turn back this particular thing and then let's turn on the other ones and then you can see where we are going from here, right? I believe by now you, you understand what you are doing now. So we can go ahead and then draw the rest of the things that we need to do. So the next one will be the nose over here. So let's create a new layer on top of this. And then we are going to select the paint tool again this time around shape sorry the path right so let's draw this and then we draw this area okay so we draw this area and then we will draw this area too So afterwards we're going to fill and then we will change the color to this particular color over here and then we click OK. So we will delete the part afterwards and then we can zoom in to draw this area. Okay so the next thing that we're going to do is the eyes over here so please take a critical notice at this place what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer and then I will name it let's say the eye cover okay because that's what is covering the eye so I'm going to start from this place and then let me zoom in so you start we are still using the pen tool and the path okay so you start from this place and then you draw like this okay so just like that and then when you get to this place you're going to stop here and then you continue from this side let me zoom in the more okay all right and then you come again and so you follow the eyes just like how it is made you know you are converting the actual image to a cartoon so you just follow the eye like that and then you can draw to from this side to up to here and then when you get to this point you just join them and then you can go ahead and do the same thing over it so let me fast forward this area okay so when you have it like this you right click and go to fill and then you use the color over here so you can give it a color any color of your choice so let me pick a color from this side 
Oh, let me pick a color from here. Okay, so we click OK. And then OK over here. And then you delete the path, right? So that is it. And then you come under the eye cover. You see the white layer underneath. So you create a new layer again. And then you draw again. So you draw like that. Like this. And then you right click and go to fill again then color and then you're going to give it a color so you can decide to make it white or you can choose the color from this area so let's make it something a little white it's not all that white so okay and then since we want to draw the eyeball we're going to turn this off and then go ahead and choose the eclipse over here that is what i use in drawing my eyes or the eyes in my cartoon so you draw the eclipse over here like this right and then you can turn it off the opacity turn the opacity off and then change the color so you're going to pick the color from this section and then you're going to press ctrl t on the keyboard command t if you are using a mac then right click and go to warp and then you can manage and then just gauge the eyeball and then just transform it that way so it goes like this so you take your time to transform it you get the better view so i think this is okay so you can click on it and then you come at, you come to this side again let me turn this on and then you come to this side again and then you draw another eclipse over here so you have it like this that one i don't need to just do anything to it so let me turn it off and then turn this one to off again at this juncture i'm going to create a new layer on top here and then i'm going ahead to pick my brush tool and then i choose the color from this side so on top of this eclipse layer i'm going to hit on the brush just once like this and then i'll come to this side so i'll pick the color from this side too and then i'll hit on it once and then i can choose the colors from here too and just draw something small small like that so i'll go to this side and do the same thing once and then some small small stuff will come over here like that i believe you are getting it right so afterwards i can turn back the eclipse on again and then i'll turn this on again and then i'm going to turn the rest on so we can see what we are actually doing so like this like that and then let's turn on the shapes over so you can see that at this point we are doing something good over here right so what you're going to do next is let me turn off these things so what we are going to do next is we're going to create a new layer on top again and then by using the pen to we're going to draw the eyelashes so start from here then here and then you draw like this so it goes like that so you start from here to come to this side And then you right click and go to fill path and then you're going to give it a color so like that okay and then we delete the path so at this point we have this series of things on this the blue veil right so let's select the blue veil create a new layer on top and then let's try to 
do this so you select you make the selections like that and then you come here so afterwards you right click and then fill and then you're going to this time around let me use the background color so it's supposed to give me white okay and then i'll come back and select this area again here and then i right click fill path and then i'm going to select the color from here okay and then here we go so you delete it and now we can go ahead and turn all those that we've hidden so far and then you should have something like this so i believe by now we can go ahead and change the background so that we can see exactly what we're doing so if i change the background like this now you can see what we are actually doing right so that is it afterwards let's come over here and then select this particular eye cover right so what i use in doing the i don't know how it is called but let me demonstrate to you maybe you can get a glimpse of it so i'll come here and select the smudge tool i don't know if you have the brushes but you have to download the smudge brushes so you select this particular smudge brush over here and then you can use that to do the maybe you might help me to name this particular thing because i don't know how it is called so you just take your time in doing it like this so you just brush and brush and brush right like how you want it you can turn on on and off the strength over here you can decrease it and then you can increase it over there so like this and then you can do it like that so let me do that down over here so basically it is just like that So when you are done like this you can see that we are having something great over here and then you can go ahead and copy this particular image i'm making a copy because i need to reference it so i'll have it on top over here like this and then I'll, it seems we forgot to draw this particular blue veil over here right so let's go ahead and select the veil let me name this veil All right so veil and then on top of this you're going to select the pen tool and just draw the blue veil over here so let's follow the trend okay so you right click and select and then you give it a color so you give it something blue okay so blue over here and then okay and okay so you delete the path and then when you go ahead and select this particular image that we brought over here you can see that we have something good looking like this all right so you select this particular image go to image adjustment and then you go to posterize and then you're going to have so you can increase if you don't want it too much like this okay so you click ok and then you set the blending mode to overlay and then go to filter blur and then gaussian blur and then you can blur it out so let me decrease it like this so we have something like this okay so afterwards you can go ahead and decrease the opacity small like this and then you can you can work on the color adjustment of it, like the color you chose here so you can choose to bring it down to have a clearer view so that is it and then i would have liked to show you another one thing but due to time i think this will be all for now i hope this video was helpful and if it was please don't forget to subscribe like and share so thanks so much for watching this video i'll catch you in the next tutorial bye